So when we talk about um, just getting out there, we just decided that we would go to, um, we'll just go use the GPS, go to the attractions, hit the parks and garden, scroll down all my state parks, all my state forests are usually listed there. And we found this Wyantanak State Forest. I've never been here. It was literally a half a mile from the place that we were just at. And uh, we're almost there. We'll see you inside of there. Uh, we'll find out together what's there. Get out there. This is an interesting plant. This is wild lettuce. And uh, this has some unique medicinal properties to it. Yep, that's wild lettuce. Um, this, uh, the Native Americans would clip these off and collect the sap that would come out of this for its analgesic properties. That's all I'm going to say about that. We're here. This is obviously a man-made spillway for uh, this down here. Wow. Okay, so we came to this YN and Tak. I'll get it right. YN and the Nak. Uh, state Forest, half a mile from where we just were at that Hamlet Wildlife Preserve and Tent. And this place, I've never been here before. Uh, this place is really squatchy. You, you want me? You want me to do it, don't you? I know. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do a howl. No. Yes, I am. I try to do it like uh, uh, that bearded guy that stole the show from me up in Maine. Yeah, yeah. I know him very well. <laughs> There's a car coming. There's a car coming. That's the thing about Connecticut. You always have planes and cars. But wow. You see, you can see that beautiful tree. There's two beautiful red trees back here. Man, I like this. Now, see me? Look at So, there is nobody here. It looks like only hunters would come here. Um, really crazy hikers. The kind of crazy people that go looking for squatch and dog man and stuff. And you got to question anybody that would do that on a regular basis. Yeah. Probably, you know. Probably needs to sit down and have a long talk with the Connecticut Department of Tourism. I don't know. Why don't... Why, why can't you just put these places on the map? I mean, yeah, you mark them, but you don't send anybody to take photographs of them. You don't show how beautiful it is. By my reckoning, uh, UOC says like $350,000 dollars. We'll take that as a tax-free donation. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know. I'm doing your job for you. And, you know, it really, it's, it's sad. And I really, and I'm not kidding. I really am not, I'm dead serious. Look at what we've done today, you know. And um, they're supposed to, and I'm not busting on them. So let me take a minute to really bust on them because you guys... I don't know. I don't get it. You know, it's not just 
Hammonasset State Park. It's not just a handful of state parks. Kent Falls and a, yeah, okay. Or like Lake, Lake Waramog. No, it's places like this. It's your little farms. <laughs> yeah, I just I just did the spider dance. It's your little farms, your out of the way places, your wildlife places. Um, you you know you show the carousel, you show the the riverfront and your concerts and Bushnell Park and all that stuff. When you got this, and this really this speaks for itself. So. Am I being a little bit harsh on you guys? No, because I haven't even started yet. Okay, see, sis, this is, you know, how much we love you. I'm about to go into that and uh, put my life in the line because there's all kinds of ticks now in Connecticut. We've covered that already. Potentially some snakes or some... If there's something in there, I'll grab it. But the name of this place is down there and it's covered. That's... That's how many people come here. Nobody comes here. Probably just hunters, and there's not even a lot of hunting access here. This is just one of those, man, this is one of those squatchy places. If you're a squatch, you're gonna find a place like this where nobody goes. No, and by nobody, I mean no people. I try to find those places myself. All right, I'm going in. I'm going in, listen, if I don't make it out alive, um, the camera person has some information on me. Uh, let it be known that I, I, I got lost in the service of CSIS, all right? So, going in where the ticks are. So you can see the name of this place. Oh, I love this. I love places that have numbers like that. This is probably like the place that nobody goes to. And they all go to number two and number one. Um, Wyan and Tanakh Marsh. Now, now that I went in there, real easy. I got some kind of, you know, you just check, check good, and don't go into places like that, people, don't do that, see that, that's, that's how you get, that's how you get ticks on you, just like that, so I demonstrated how to get them on you, okay, see, so, so, you know, if you do that, and you, you're going to feel ticks on you all night long that aren't there. You're going to have these imaginary ticks. You people know what I'm talking about. Look at this tree over here. Multiple tracks of something heavy. Maybe a bear. We don't post a whole lot of stuff like this. Um, wow, if you could see from this side. This was... Me, that was twisted. That was twisted. This didn't just fall, this thing was twisted like it was grabbed and green. This was green and strong, man. This thing did not want to fall over. It's not big enough to... Well, now, 
now of course the tree uh, it's lost a considerable part of itself and it's not doing well. Man, that's twisted. That's twisted and we got some heavy tracks. Blueberries here. All blueberries. All this is blueberries. Oh man, this place smells nice too. There's people, somebody's burning wood here, but that sucker. Man, we don't, like I said, we don't post a lot of that stuff. But look at this oak tree. Man. Wow. All right, so we're out. We're you know, we got some heavy depressions here. Look at that. Look at that. And and so let me try. Let me try here. All right, look at Here's all my weight. You see, I got some. That's about the best that that's going to happen. Look at this. I don't know what to make of that. This place is quiet. All right, we'll see you. Uh, we're gonna go further down the road here. Let's find the other two spots. Um, so where we saw the twisted tree, there's this pile of rocks. It's not a, it's not an old fire pit. It's random, and there's not really, not really a lot of other rocks around. Um, did we squatch a meat of this place? So, um, this is really rugged. You really gotta like the woods to like this place. Um, man. Oh, like a 4.7. Big, heavy tracks. Deep impressions. Look at When I do it, it just pops back. And I'm about 700 pounds. The twisted tree, rock piles, and just vastness. And it's quiet in a very strange way, like Robin Swamp. That's what this reminds me of. Alright, we're driving through this. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name. Um, but I got to tell you, there was an access point there, and uh, there was... There was uh, like two bikers that that uh, well well we just decided we'd move on but um, I love bikers got a lot of good friends to that um, but this place we're still in the forest if you could see we're on Gorham Road here and there is some development here oh private road private road well that's how that ends but let me tell you something. Uh, if we could have, and we could have, we could have drove by them. Looked like there was a road that went pretty deep into the forest there. Um, but you know, when you look at the etiquette is when you're in these pull-off places, that's, you know, they got there, that's their place. There's trails that shoot off all over the place in here. But my impression of this place is that, uh, you know, this has, where it'll, we'll be, you won't, what do you think, camera person, come back here? Yeah. We'll come back here. Wow, there's trails that just shoot off. I imagine this is like one of those places that hunters love. Um, it's all state land on both sides, except for that stupid development over there. I don't know why I'm doing it. Private. Uh, whatever. Um, some these are really nice looking trees. 
lot of white birch in here and uh, you know we saw some heavy impressions and we saw a twisted tree and strange just random rock piles where you know this is the kind of place and we got squirrels they're eating the acorns that are all over the place here but yeah no this is definitely a squatchy place and it's, and it's just nice this is why I love I love state forests like this and uh, yeah listen we're just I mean, we're just relaxing squatching totally just enjoying nature huge just just muscadine grapes all throughout here this is all muscadines and those are like conquered grapes you know you can i've made jellies with those and stuff so we'll see you out there um i don't even know i don't know if we're calling it a day yet or just gonna go on i don't know what the camera person wants to do um you know uh, but the camera person is the boss of the show, show so you want to go somewhere else? Yeah, we're gonna go somewhere else. We're gonna get these guys, and they're they're they're, oh, they're packing it up. Those guys, but we're gonna leave them be to their business over there, and come back and check out that road another day. And we are out there on location. Uh, the tree, you know, the foliage is just about to break. Um, but you know, we don't wait. We're already we're already celebrating. Much Halloween it doesn't end with ceases. All right, and if you want to get ticks, go find that sign. Wow, this place, this is, this is out of the way as it gets in Connecticut. We have a great day. And we hope you are too. Send us your reports. Um, we are on one of our next upcoming episodes. We're going to follow up on our report. You're really gonna like this. You're really gonna like this. So send us your reports. Check us out and uh, support your local cryptids, will you? You need a helping hand. They need places like this. We're out there chasing the imaginary. Um. So we're here at this West Aspetuck Scenic Wetlands Preserve, and you know it's kind of messed up because. North Spectacle Lake is to be treated with pesticides. Yeah, no, I don't like that at all. Um, this is a cool place, man. It's, I don't even know where. Where the heck are we? What town are we in? I don't even know. I don't even know where we are. Uh, we're definitely getting out there. Man, I'm telling you this area with your scenic maps, okay? Listen, this, I want more of these. This is cool. They're even in color. Um, so I guess this, this is where we're parked. And I guess there's a trail. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a trail here. It looks like it's over here. Yeah. So I guess you would go down here, get to this point, and then loop around here. Um, and there's a beaver pond down there. Uh, so we're in Kent. This is part of the Kent Land Trust, okay? So 25 acres of squatch and potential. Natropel, you owe us a bottle. Get your Natropel on and, and go ahead and go in there. And... Uh, Maybe we'll see you. Maybe we'll see you in a missing 411 episode. <laughs> oh, that, that place is pretty squatchy. All right, we'll see you out there. We're, we're, we don't know where we're going. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, we're on Cobble Hill Road in Kent, and that's pretty squatchy. Wow, this, wow, wow, this is awesome. I, I am just loving this. I don't know. We just go. We're just. Oh my goodness! Look at this up here. Oh, yeah, that's squatchy. All right. If you want to know what squatch habitat would look like, there it is, right there. What? Why not? Why not come down from 
uh, mountains, Berkshires, and um, the Conic Mountain Range, and all of that stuff on up into Canada, throughout the Midwest. Wow, this is just amazing. This is really scenic. 